Ahem. <clears throat> Excuse me, brave shopkeep. I hate to trouble you, but I do believe I'm in need of some assistance. You see, I am not from around here, and this place is strange to me. Oh, you are aware I am not a local. How might that be? Yes, I suppose the armor may have given it away. Tis a shame so few people nowadays wear mighty steel. But I am getting sidetracked. I am Tremont, knight of the kingdom of fair King Daniel, and I am... hungry, young storekeep. <laughs> I've been wandering around this place for many hours now, exploring its strange contents, and have finally found what I do believe to be... the food aisle. I asked directions from a young vampire girl over there, pleasant despite her condition. However, when I arrived in this section of your shop, I found the sight so strange. This packaging around your products, it is quite puzzling. Though the colors are pleasing to the eye, I am not certain about their contents. I have a vague notion of what it is inside, but how am I to know its quality? I went to open one, but one of my fellow browsers explained that we are not allowed to do that lest we pay for it. And I do not wish to pay for it, lest I am certain it is of good status. Tis a puzzle indeed. <laughs> you can attest to its quality. Interesting. How do I know you are not attempting to extort me? You swear you are not? Hmm. Come, let me look into your eyes, shopkeep. I promise I will not hurt you. I swear it upon the spirit of my king and the soul of my country. Hmm. You have an honest gaze about you. A noble soul. In fact, n no, no, I am not getting my hopes up. Apologies, noble shopkeep, forgive a befuddled knight lost in thought. If you insist this produce has been thoroughly checked for good quality, then I shall believe you. There is truth to your words, and what's more, I wish to believe you. So I shall. Now that I'm certain of this food's quality, I shall have to choose something to eat, shan't I? Hmm. So many choices. Why, my king, fair Daniel, would give his crown for just a moment's browsing in this place. I am torn for choice, my friend. The packaging and colors, as I said, they attract my gaze and I'm uncertain what to choose. What more, many of these food types are new to me. Unfamiliar and foreign to my homeland. Perhaps, perhaps you could recommend something for me. That is an interesting choice, one I am unfamiliar with, but if you recommend it, I shall give it a go. But wait. Look at the subtle off-white color of the packaging, the faint glow to the letters upon its body. My God, it even has a black-white mark upon its back. What artistry so casually ignored in this time. Such a creation would be heralded in my time, friend, I assure you. Yes, I am from another time, earlier in this world's history. The year 1060, exactly. Role play? I am unfamiliar with this term, friend. What does it mean? I assure you I tell you no lies. I am no actor or charlatan. Though I am touched, the legend of my brave brothers and sisters have earned the love of so many that they wish to dress in our image. In truth, it would perhaps be better for you if I were merely role-playing, as you call it. For I am here on a most important mission, one that could mean the end of your very kingdom, should I fail. There was a darkness in my time, a darkness my brothers and sisters in arms fought against, fought and through much hardship, vanquished. Yes, we succeeded, though it cost many of us not only our lives, but our place in history. 
whom we faced a powerful sorcerer, wielding weapons and magics the likes of which I had never seen. With a simple flick of their wrist, they could erase a warrior entirely from existence. Save for their immediate vicinity to the rest of the world, it would be as if they had never been born. The sorcerer used many strange weapons against us, and they killed just as many. Why, I'm certain, were it not for the power of our own wizard, Slavak, I would have perished too alongside my King Daniel. You are unfamiliar with them. Oh, damn that sorcerer. May the soil lay light upon their head. Alongside Slavak, I managed to strike a strange glove the sorcerer was wearing, sending them backwards through a portal. However, before I could escape, the portal dragged me through and I wound up in your time, as confused and lost as a newborn babe. Yes, I am quite certain the sorcerer I was fighting is here, too. <laughs> there were several corpses in the location I arrived in. No doubt they stumbled upon the sorcerer as they arrived and earned their ire. Though I do not know them, I promise I shall avenge them along with the others this monster has slain. Yes, the threat they pose is quite terrible. They left trails upon trails of innocent dead. Plague covered the ground they walked, and the skies darkened a crimson red. Though their power is far beyond my own, I am honor-bound to help save your time. And since I have no way of returning to my own, I suppose I have nothing better to do. Ah, oh, a thousand pardons, friend shopkeep. I am quite famished. And what you have chosen for me does seem quite delicious. I believe my stomach is quite looking forward to devouring it. <laughs> Worry not. I shall leave good word with your superiors for the aid you have given me. You have gone above and beyond the call of duty and shall make a worthy manager of this place in your own future days. Mark my words. You do not need to follow me. I am well aware of where to pay in this establishment. Ha! Of course I have money. I am no mere peasant. Young friend, I am a mighty knight, and the metal all knights carry, uh, other than steel, is gold. Now, if only I could, uh... uh apologies. It's difficult to grip sometimes with these gauntlets. Ah, thank you. My coin purse. It's in the right pouch. There. Yes, it is quite hefty, isn't it? I assure you, you shall be compensated. Here's a gold coin for your aid, friend. No, no, don't protest. You've more than earned it. And for your cashier, I... Ah, uh, oh, here are uh, a few coins for the food. Have a good evening, madame. Uh, I beg your pardon, but... Was that maiden behind the till? Did she have ears and claws like that of a cat? Uh, I see. What a strange future I've wandered into. Still, it's not my time. I suppose it's not for me to judge. Besides, there's more important things on my mind. Like that sorcerer who was in dire need of a healthy heaping of justice. Why, I suppose I shall retrace my footsteps, return to the site where I spawned into this time, and see if I can't find where it was they went. <sighs> Given their temper and foul mood, I am certain I'll find a trail of destruction they no doubt left in their wake. Why? Why do you ask? You wish to join me? Ha! I thank you for the offer, friend, but a brave knight such as myself needs no... Mmm, mm, these are quite delicious. Apologies. As I was saying, a brave knight such as myself really needs no aid. My goodness! Such a quick beast, it nearly slew me. Had you not held me back, it would have been... Perhaps you are right. I could do with some aid in navigating this time. But what of your responsibilities? Your call of duty. Minimum wage? 
I know not what that is, but I do not like the sound of it. Ah, I see. Then you don't have anything better to do either, it seems. Very well, my young friend. If you insist on joining me in my journey, then we shall travel the roads of this world together. I shall be the brawn, and you shall be my guide. And together we shall end the wickedness, sinking its claws into the flesh of our fair world. Come, my friend, <laughs> adventure awaits. <laughs>